Hi, I'm Chris Hauer. Welcome to Top of Mind. As you can probably tell, if you've been watching the series, I'm not in my office today. I'm actually in the middle of IT Symposium in Orlando, which is a fantastic show, tons of energy, and I'm here with so many people and having a great time. One of the sessions I've done here is the top strategic technology trends. So I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and just walk you through that at a high level. The top strategic technology trends fall into three main themes or categories. The first of these is the protection of the investment that you've already made, especially as AI becomes more part of that story. The second of these groups of trends is about supporting the rise of the builder, both inside IT and outside of IT. And then the third set of trends is about delivering value from these investments that you've made in platforms and in people, in AI and other innovations. As we think about protecting the investment, it's really about what has changed because we've started to insert more AI into the work that we're doing and into the systems that we're building. AI creates a different kind of attack surface that requires different types of approaches. And this is everything from mitigating bias and grounding with better data to taking care of model drift and collaboration using model ops and even LLM tools, LLM ops tools as you're building. The other is that it's, it's caused a different kind of threat that's happening all the time. So Gardner talks about this in terms of continuous threat management or CTEM. And this is a both a process where you're interacting about the business surface itself and the business as an attack surface and negotiating with the business to say, what do we need to protect and how is that changing at any moment in time? Then we talk about sustainable technologies. This is really about protecting the future. And so sustainable technologies is a a set of engineering technologies, sets of data and how it's used, how it interacts with systems to help you make better decisions that actually have long range impact on the planet itself. There are also social aspects to that as well. And there are implications from large language models that we're starting to really understand in terms of their impact on the planet, how to minimize that impact. And so paying some attention to how those technologies are evolving and how you're actually bringing them into your environment is really key for 2024. The second group of trends really about supporting the rise of the builder, a lot of this is about platforms. So you think of a platform as something that makes hard things easier to do because it standardizes them. You have common capabilities. Maybe you have wrapped regulations, the ability to actually do things that fit within the way that you're supposed to build and supposed to deliver. One of these is the, the idea of platform engineering, where you have groups that are both on the business side and the technology side working together to figure out what is the set of capabilities that enables us to build and deliver solutions that are both technical as well as very business oriented. So this idea of platform teams, platform engineering, the encapsulation of standards comes with platform engineering. The next piece would be the idea of, of intelligence becoming part of the tools themselves, but also the developer experience being extended through Gen AI. Sure, we're paying a lot of attention to this in terms of code generation, but there are other ways that Gen AI can be used to impact the whole development lifecycle from requirements gathering through documentation, through tests, and so on. Uh, and so this is a great productivity help for, for uh, developers themselves. The other thing that's happening is that the applications are becoming more intelligent. And so vendors are starting to include these kinds of capabilities like Gen AI capabilities into the tooling to actually help support workers at all different parts, whether you're information workers or frontline workers, wherever they may be, and helping bring data into context for them to make them more effective in their jobs. The value theme really is about how do I use all of these things to actually produce a value for everyone? Now, what I last talked about was this, you know, developer experience, employee experience. Turns out that this is one of the really great ways to introduce value into the organization through an improved employee value proposition. So if employees are getting to their goals faster, they're actually enabling customers, citizen, patients, you know, in their goals too, which binds them to you as an organization and actually goes towards growth. Another thing, which is an interesting topic here that is maybe a little bit more future for some of you is this idea of machines as customer, machines creating a different value vector for the organization as machines actually get more involved in procurement. So for example, a car ordering its own oil changes or refrigerators ordering things or so on. We've all had some experience with that, but this is gonna become more ingrained in the supply chain and you're gonna to have to start figuring out ways to actually market more effectively to the machine who doesn't have emotions, but is actually very specific about price and supply chain issues. So an evolving set of things. So again, you have a core that you've been building over time uh, and there's a need to really 
protect that in even more effective ways given the introduction of AI. We're supporting a whole new type of building with software engineers. There are new, new tools and approaches for that, but also looking at ways to produce value because ultimately that's what all of this is for. And there's some new techniques for doing that. So that's some highlights from the top strategic technology trends for 2024. Thanks, I'm Chris Howard. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.